much money, that is not an Islamic bank, period. Right. There are uh, a number of ways of financing businesses. One uh, possible thing uh, a business would like to expand, they're looking for financing to buy more machinery. Mm. The concept of murabha is very much relevant over here. Right. Murabha is a concept whereby uh, someone sells something, a commodity, machinery, whatever, to a buyer for a profit. And the buyer has an option to pay the price in installments no. for after a certain time period on a deferred basis. Islamic banks use this concept to uh, finance machinery, other equipment, and so on. For example, if a sugar mill is looking for importing uh, a sugar plant, Islamic bank will buy that sugar plant for one million pounds right. and would sell it to the sugar mills for 1.3 million pounds. And that 0.3 million, 300,000 pounds would be the bank's profit. Mm. 1.3 million price, the customer, the sugar mill, would be able to pay to the bank in a certain time period, whatever they agree. If the financing period is 18 months, in 18 easy installments, the customer sugar mill will be able to pay to the bank this amount. There are other ways as well. Uh, if the bank uh, has a greater appetite for risk, mm -hmm. bank may enter into a profit loss sharing arrangement with the sugar mill. I see. So it all depends on the preferences of the two parties. If the right. sugar mill owner thinks that sugar business is very profitable, in that case, the sugar mill owner may say that no, thank you very much, we would not like to share the profit with you. <laughs> mm. You just buy the equipment from the market for price so and so, sell it to us for a higher price, make some profit and exit. And exit, okay. And on the exit, let's see if the phone system is working. We're testing the phone system now. Assalamu alaikum caller, who's on the line? Wa alaikum salam, it's uh, Ahmed from London. Assalamu alaikum caller. Uh, Walaikum salam. I want to put a Let's go to the next to one. Assalamu alaikum caller. If you can switch your TV volume uh, down, please, and if you can listen inside your phone, and when you hear me speaking in the phone, when you hear me speaking in the phone, then if you react, I think that's the best way. Right. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum caller. Walaikum salam. Assalamu alaikum. Who is this and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Ahmed. I'm speaking from London. Assalamu alaikum, Ahmed Saab, and how can we help you today? Uh, I want to put a question to brother in the middle. Yes. Okay. Which financial banking or accounting profession is best to take at the moment after A level, uh, which can have a better uh, future, yes. in near, near future? Yes. Okay. So he's do doing his A levels, and where where does he go from there in uh, Islamic finance? Is that the question? Sorry, having problems listening hearing you. Yeah, okay. any financial banking yes, or accounting profession. That's right. Actually, there are a number of qualifications uh, available in the market. Someone uh, who has just done uh, A-levels and is interested in Islamic banking and finance, I would recommend that the person should do ooh, something known as Islamic finance qualification offered by Chartered Institute for Securities and Investment in London. This is an introductory qualification for anyone interested in Islamic banking and finance. And uh, uh, there are a number of uh, tuition providers for this qualification. Of course, this uh, course can be taken uh, as self-study. But for those who would like to have additional help, there are certain schools and colleges in London which offer uh, tuition for this course. I myself, I'm running uh, a one-day training course on Islamic banking and finance. The next one is coming uh, on the 4th of March. Uh, this comes under a program which I have developed for those who are interested in Islamic banking and finance. It's called IFAP, Islamic Finance Access Program. Okay. Right. And uh, 
and uh, those who are interested in getting basic familiarity with Islamic banking and finance in one day. Mm -hmm. It would be a nine to five extensive training. And where will that be held? That would be held in London, mm -hmm. uh, in Toynbee Hall. Okay. And uh, as I said, it will be on the 4th of March and those who are interested, they can uh, attend that training. Okay. This is part mm -hmm. of the access program, not expensive at all. Uh, it is primarily for those who have a genuine interest in Islamic banking and finance but mm. can't afford attending very expensive trainings in Islamic banking and finance. Uh, thank you. Assalamu alaikum caller. Let's take the next call. Assalamu alaikum caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And uh, what is your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Said. I'm calling Said, from yes. Kent. Right. And what is your question, please? My question is actually, I just want to ask him, um, uh, we have read so many articles as uh, Islamic banking is growing in the UK every year about 10 to 15 percent. Yes. So my question is, what are the factors, what are the reasons behind this growth? Because I have read uh, different articles, you say some of them articles saying is uh, because the uh, Muslim population is increasing in the UK, or some of them saying is the government, UK government is supporting. Uh, the uh, Islamic banking, that's why it's growing every year. So what are the reason behind the growth of Islamic banking in the, within the UK? Thank you very much. Excellent question. Mm -hmm. what, why, uh, why are they uh, what are accelerating the so yeah. quickly? Basically, okay, yeah. we're going to come back. We're gonna have, sorry, we're going to come go to a break. And after the break, we will answer this question. All right. Okay, so we're going to a break now, inshallah, and we'll see you on the other side. TV, connecting you to the source. अच्छा अभी ब्रेक ही जाती, तुम ही कुताही जाते हो। बांग्लादेशी टाका पढ़ा बो, की भावे पढ़ा बे, कोनो मनी ट्रांसफर थे के, शाब्द धान, इतना तुम्हारा अनेक कॉस्टिट टाका, जो दी देरी होए, और तो बार उधाव हो गया जाए, की बोल चो, अमी बोल ची वॉल स्ट्रीट, जरा अनेक पुरोनो বিশ্বস্ত এবং বড় কোম্পানি যেখানে টাকার গ্যারান্টি এবং বন্ধুত্বপূর্ণ সেবা দুটোই পাওয়া যায় ফর রিলায়েবল মানি ট্রান্সফার টু পাকিস্তান ইন্ডিয়া বাংলাদেশ এন্ড ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইড অলসো বিউরো ডি চেঞ্জ এন্ড চেক ক্যাশিং সার্ভিস পবিত্র হজ এবং ওমরায় বিগত বছরগুলোতে সবচেয়ে বড় সেবাদানকারী প্রতিষ্ঠান হিসেবে সুনাম অর্জন করেছে সিলেট হাউস ট্রাভেল সেন্টার লিমিটেড এবছরও আপনার কিংবা দেশে আপনার আত্মীয় স্বজনের হজ ও ওমরার নানা প্যাকেজের বুকিং চলছে বিমান সহ বিশ্বের প্রধান এয়ারলাইন্সগুলোর সস্তায় টিকিট পাবেন এখানে এছাড়া নিশ্চিন্ত নিরাপদে মানি ট্রান্সফারের অনন্য নাম সিলেট হাউস ট্রাভেল সেন্টার লিমিটেড হেড অফিস সিক্স হ্যাসলি স্ট্রিট লন্ডন ই ওয়ান ব্রাঞ্চ অফিস সিক্সটি সিক্স ব্রিকলেন নিখা ওয়েডিং উই প্রমিস টু মেক ইউর স্পেশাল ডে ট্রুলি মেমোরেবল We provide beautiful stages, exquisite dining, finest cuisine, full waitering service, classy cars, photography and video. We also provide fresh flowers, wedding cards, wedding cakes, mehendi designers, children's play area and fireworks. Our expert wedding planners will help maximize your budget. Nick our wedding. Complete half your dean. And welcome back to the last segment of I Mean Business. And just before the break, there was a caller asking a question uh, regarding where do they go from here and where do they go from here after the A-levels. 
Now, that was the one I answered. The yes. other question was, uh, what are the factors contributing to the growth? Sorry, yes, the, the growth. And 